Modern psychology has a word that is probably used more than any other word in psychology. It is the word maladjusted. Now, of course, we all want to live the well-adjusted life in order to avoid neurotic and schizophrenic personalities. But as I move toward my conclusion, I would like to say to you today, in a very honest manner, that there are some things in our society and some things in our world for which I'm proud to be maladjusted. And I call upon all men of goodwill to be maladjusted to these things until the good society is realized. I must honestly say to you that I never intend to adjust myself to racial segregation and discrimination. I never intend to adjust myself to religious bigotry. I never intend to adjust myself to economic conditions that will take necessities from the many to give luxuries to the few, leave millions of God's children smothering in an airtight cage of poverty in the midst of an affluent society. Listen, man, I don't really have any money uh -huh. to give you, but I do have this winning lottery ticket. I don't really know how much I won. I can give this to you, okay? You sure, my man? Yeah, I could take you to the store and we could get this cash. How's that sound? That's cool, my friend. Let's do this, brother. Oh, my God. Guess what? You got $1,000. $1,000? You won $1,000. You're kidding me, right? You're kidding me, right? I'm not kidding. Come on, man. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. I'm not kidding you, man. I want to share it, man. Oh, come on. That's all yours, man. I want to share it. Man. No, that's all yours, it's man. right here. we be enough for me. It's all good. I would like to share it with you, big guy. meant to be leading us. I've recognised that my own impermanence, my own irrelevance, the fact that I'm just a person shuffling through life, I ain't really no different now from when I was a little kid. And what I, all I want really is that not, I don't want that feeling in my stomach that people are being treated badly. I don't want a feeling that people are being exploited. So I recognise in myself the capacity for selfishness, for lustfulness, for uh, egotism, and because I recognise these qualities in myself, I would prefer a culture that didn't celebrate, exacerbate, stimulate the most negative aspects of our species, inculcate them, reward them financially, till we get to a, a kind of a cultural hysteria where we're destroying the planet.
technical term, screwing with the polar jet stream. fine to support a system that is so successful that every year it turns out more suicide, alcoholism, drug taking, homelessness, pain, stress, fear and suffering in all its forms. We'd be in real trouble if this system wasn't working, would we? Spectrum of social disorder, and there it is. You have a macro socioeconomic system, macroeconomic element that is basically funneling out this distortion from childhood all the way through every level of sociological exhibition, if you will. And everything you see is, is coming from this very sick distortion premise of economy. Human survival is today contingent upon one's ability to obtain employment and enable sales. That's your right to life. If you can't get labor, you might as well die because you don't serve a economically efficient role. We're faced with a unique form of collapse that many are not talking about enough. There's three nails in the coffin as far as I'm concerned. Unemployment, sorry to say, based on the way things are going, you're not going to see percentage employment levels that you've ever seen in the past for the human population. It's over. Energy costs, only going to rise from here on out. We live in a hydrocarbon economy. There's absolutely no investment or true intention of the government or corporate institutions to move forward with any type of renewables that will replace the current massive infrastructure we've created. And far too much money will be made as the system fails because of the scarcity of this thing. Debt failure. Is, am I the only one laughing at the fact that there's this fictional notion of debt that's like dominoes knocking down countries one by one? Transition. Here's the value war. Of all the times I speak with people about these issues, they tend to understand it, but they have these value associations that hold on to old artifacts of the prior system. It's a value war. How do we get from one to the other? What can we do to inspire change and create social reform? And that is the big question. What will you do? Worn out places, worn out faces Bright and early for the daily races Going nowhere, going nowhere Their tears are filling up their glasses No expression, no expression Drown my sorrow, no tomorrow, no tomorrow. And I find it kind of funny, I find it kind of sad. The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. I find it hard to tell you, I find it hard to take. When people run in circles, it's a very, very bad world. Mad world. Children waiting for the day they feel good. Happy birthday, happy birthday. And to feel the Kind of sad, the dreams in which 
wish I'm dying or the best I've ever had I find it hard to tell you I find it hard to take When people run in circles It's a very, very big